Greetings and welcome to Mount Rushmore. We are on vacation, but we still wanted to deliver a podcast to you. So we opened up our archives and are releasing this never before heard test podcast we did way back in 2015. It was something we were doing, trying to figure out what we were doing, but we hope you enjoy it now. My name is Jeff. My friends Michael and Richard make compelling arguments on just about every topic you can imagine, from things trivial to earth-shattering matters like what's the best snack cake or who was the coolest singer for Van Halen. Tasty cakes. Also, Van Halen. Tasty cakes. Okay. (laughs) Coolest singer. While they argue, one a very verbose, one a very concise, one being fire, one being ice, I sit and moderate. That makes me lukewarm water. And I'm your host. Uh, to my left is Richard. Hello. To my right is Michael. Howdy. That's a lie. He's actually also on my left. He's so far to my left, he's on my right. <laughs> Damn you, circumference. <laughs> this is when we get into the argument about whether the Earth is round or the Mount Rushmore of, of, being, of, of, of things scientific, around. <laughs> scientific things that have been proven wrong. So this is what Michael and I always argue about. It's what should be on the Mount Rushmore of certain things. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's our favorite. It could mean it's our favorite, but it's kind of what's the most iconic and most representative. There's a lot of uh, horrible garbage, uh, Mount Rushmore of sports, this and that, that are pretty boring. Um, We thought that we could apply uh, everything to the uh, the Mount Rushmore of life, which is a lot more interesting than... uh, who are the four best quarterbacks of all time. Also, Michael's usually wrong about stuff. So I don't know helps. anything about sports. I'll be keeping score along the way. Uh, let's consider, if you will, the presidents who make up Mount Rushmore. The From left to right, it is Washington. Then is this, is, a, is this a quiz? Roosevelt. Is Hoover in then there? It's Mc, McKinley? Jefferson. No, Jefferson's two. Washington in the one spot. Uh, Jefferson in the second spot. Then it's Roosevelt, number three, and... Bringing up the rear in the caboose, Tony is Lincoln. Tony, <laughs> Tony, I freed who? Lincoln. <laughs> so they will be judged in reverse order from a point standpoint. If one of our combatants gets the Washington spot, they get a four. Whoever gets the Jefferson spot gets three. Teddy Roosevelt two, and Lincoln uno. No, I don't. I, I don't that's, think we've agreed to that in any way. That's how we'll do the first. <laughs> one. So I'm confused. What? What if I get like a, I don't know Lyndon Johnson? What happens there? We're not adding presidents, presidents to the mountain. The mountain. Uh, so let's uh, open up with this month's topic. It is months of the. American calendar year. Damn it! You got me on a technicality. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna start off strong and go with, with the French Revolution calendar, <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? As well, so for me, as soon as I track things by the Mayan calendar. Well, it, the thing it's... is, on your on your iPhone or your listening device, if you just set it to French, it'll automatically switch it over. Uh, and uh, to those, uh, so just so as long as we're arguing, already, already arguing the conditions of this argument, but let's just all agree that it is the planet Earth uh, and the sun's rotation which creates the year that we record in the months that are divided. Whether all right. we, I think that's fair. Whether we say that they're French or English or whatever, or Swahili. So, um, why don't we open up with uh, the A little round where you each say the conditions for which we were considering what makes a month a good month versus a bad month. All right. Well, I got a couple of thoughts here. I mean, I tried to say, like, don't pick a month because your birthday's in that month because that's personal and also stupid. Um, I don't know. There's Fair. Yeah, fair, I think. Not to say you can't pick the month that your birthday is in. Just don't do that as a a rule. Um... You know, it's just I mean, you know what what month do you really what month do you think of when you think of a month? Like I, there's I think, a month. Yeah, I think there's I, a month. I think iconic months. Yeah, I, I think there are some months that you know if you just skipped over them on the calendar, you wouldn't miss them. You wouldn't go. You wouldn't go back in time and be like, hey, uh, fill in the blank month was a great month, or you'd be like, that was a really cool month. You know, mm-hmm. I I just want to. Uh, I think that there are four months out there that are. The most representative of being months. Yeah. 
To be fair, there are a couple of months I didn't put on that may have fit in there because I just don't like them. That's I'm that's valid. racist against those months, I guess. Oh, well, mm-hmm. so month monthist. This yeah, is going to be apparently. very interesting. All right. All right, so I, I this is Richard. I should go first. My first month. Should we just go back and forth, one each, kind of trade off? Yeah, I think, I think that sounds so. fair. All right, so my first month, even though it is my birthday month, um, February, like there's a month for you. Because let's hear what you got here. You got Super Bowl. Yep. You got all the crap before the Super Bowl. Yep. We we live here in Los Angeles, by the way, uh, behind the scenes, uh, how we make the sausage. It's too much inside baseball oy, right there. Oy. Um, so February is like the first month for, it's really the month where we get to brag the most about our weather. It's a very, very good point. Where we can like, for everyone else who lives in like crappy, like winter weather, go, oh, 83, I'm wearing shorts today. And really getting the kind of just gloat about the weather is a very so that iconic like Los a, Angeles thing. It doesn't seem like an attribute of February. Let's take the February-ness of February. So you're taking the L.A. version of February. It's a climate attributes. What if somebody's listening in the Antarctic or somebody's listening in Mexico? Uh, First off, hola. They, they, do not, they do not have phones or the ability to listen to uh, recorded devices in... Uh, Mexico? Nah, that's a stretch. <laughs> so, it's really I. So it seems like L.A. is what you like, not February. Well, the Super Bowl. No, L.A. doesn't. I, really I have to Super say that, listen, Also, listen. also, I should point out it's the shortest month, uh, and I think it should get some credit for that. This, and it's the weirdo month that sometimes it's twenty eight and sometimes it's twenty nine. That's pretty good. I hate to I hate to agree with Richard right off the bat, but February's on my list of months precisely for those reasons. Uh, February is uh, that one month that like it's like. Crazy month. You don't know if it's going to be 28 days, 29 days. Yeah. I mean, you mostly know because it's mostly... I mean, they're It's always, on the calendar. It's always 28 days. Sometimes it's just one extra day. Okay, so we've got an unprecedented initiation to this uh, strategy or this protocol here. In in the event of a out-of-the-pin out of uh, matchup, the person who initiated... Has to arm wrestle. Has to le- arm and or leg wrestle. It gets the points for him. So uh, you can agree with him all day long, but you're not going to get the points because he's the one who said it first. Uh, you know, that is as fair a rule as calling shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... Hmm. hmm. So, well, well you're, the, you're the adult here. So let's so. decide where to, what position you You can there. come back to it at the end, too. If you, want, if, you want, yeah. if you want to give points or make your final decision okay. at the end and, and leave think, the, and I the think audience all, all a titter okay. and just, you know, guessing. Yeah, because okay. I think there should be a build-up here. Okay, you know, great. A little bit of a... What, uh, what, what slot is Fabira going in? Do we determine that? I don't know. It, Mount Rushmore is an interesting... Because uh, uh, it's not really tiered. Well, it, it, it kind of stands for each thing. You know, like uh, uh, George Washington was the founding member, and he's on there because he is like a numero uno. Uh, Lincoln is on there because he preserved the Union, so he kind of kept, kept, kept things together. Uh, who were the other two? Uh, Jefferson was really... Uh, the, the father of the Constitution. Yeah, but as a president, what did he do? Nailed black slaves. <laughs> Uh, I believe there is a fist bump happening. That you <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't not do that, but he also did that. He was the most brilliant president from a scientific, yeah, he really, culture, he, architecture. Yeah. He really helped uh, like grow the country in a way that, that it hadn't before. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm pretty sure that Roosevelt was on there just because of his mustache. Yeah. So if there was a month that is the most mustachey month, that should go into that okay. spot. Yeah, well, that's probably November. Or... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Richard makes a fine argument for February at the Super Bowl. Let's get into details about um, the, you said the Super Bowl and that which precedes it. The football yeah. people, the lingerie bowl, what, what are we talking about the other aspects? Oh, well, there's the, well, actually, I, I guess usually the, there's that week between the championship game and the Super Bowl, which is fun because there's no football, which is kind of nice because you get like a week break from it. Hmm. Um... And there, you know, you have your pre-Super Bowl parties, mm-hmm. your pre-pre-Super Bowl parties. Okay. I go to a lot of parties, guys, mm-hmm. is what I'm trying to say. I think it's also, uh, you know, sorry that we're going to have an L.A. perspective on this. This is the closest month that we have to, like, winter. Mm-hmm. I mean, when it comes down to it... It rains it, it, sometimes. It, it rains. It's kind of cold. The other winter months, December, it's not that cold. 
And nobody's kind of nobody's fall. here in December anyway. Yeah, everyone fucks off there somewhere else. So, all right. So, uh, Michael, let's come out with your a initial volley. For all right. Well, my my first month that I have um, uh, is the month of July. Ooh. Ooh. Now, July is July might be the it might be the best month. There's a lot of things that are great about July. Um, number one, Fourth of July. In terms of parties, and in terms of, uh, uh, it, there is almost no better day just to go out and hang out with your friends. Okay. Collectively, as a nation, mm-hmm. uh, we're in full swing of uh, people inviting you over to go swimming if you are lucky enough to have friends with the pool. Mm-hmm. Um, July, it's hot, but it's not as hot as it's gonna be in like. August. We we both agree August is right the fuck out, right? Okay, the, August <laughs> August has no business being on the calendar. It may be the anyway. worst month, actually. If we're doing Mount Rushmore, months, the worst months. August is really bad. That's a whole other podcast, but no one likes August. No, and if you're listening out there and you're August apologist, fuck off. <laughs> Augustologist? I don't know August what that would be, yeah. yeah. So we've got uh, Richard with February, Michael with July. Are we determining which uh, slot did we say? No, it's slot independent. We're just going to. I think slot hierarchy. independent right now. Okay. If, if maybe it's maybe about making the, the strongest. Yeah, maybe at the end you can uh, sort that as, out. assign them. Okay. figure that out okay. for yeah. us, us, us stupid people. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. July is just like, you know, I, as a kid, July just never ended. Mm-hmm. It, you were as far Ooh. July. You were as far away. From going back to school as you could possibly be, because uh, the the summer was just endlessly long. It was like July first. You just have it all. You just yeah. You're just out there running around. You're doing kids. Up, you're doing, doing, kid you're stuff. doing kid stuff outside. Um, and God, it's just a really good month. See, now my perspective is having a couple of kids, especially one in school now. Is July is the month where my, where my kid is at home, or I'm having to pay for summer camp. And it's just miserable. Yeah. So that's an expensive month for you. It's 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 pretty brutal. And plus, I don't have July on my list, even though we go on our family trip every year in July. Maybe that says something about the uh, the stress of family vacations. I have May as my summer month. Mm. Um, I think we. I, I think in terms of the holiday thing, mm-hmm. I sort of favor Memorial Day more as the hanging out with your friends. Yeah, at the pool doing stuff. And also May is kind of that first month where it's like, okay, hey, Summer, how you doing? You're not really there yet, but I can see you coming down the road. You're looking pretty good. I mean, that's kind of what, that's kind of what May is. A little bit more of the, it's, it, it's all, Summer is opening its vernant legs, inviting you to come inside. May is such <laughs> a boring month. There's, it is, there's, there's nothing distinct about May as a month. It is just... Your there. wife's from Indiana, right? My wife is from Indiana. It's big, big, big month in Indiana. You know that, right? I don't even know. Yeah, the race cars. Oh, uh, listen, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No. That, that is like, in terms of how important that month is towards people driving around a racetrack a hundred times or five hundred times or. I don't even know how many times. Like, it's so far down the list of important things. May is... There is... Memorial Day is fine. So what you're saying is... the 4th of <clears throat> It is so... So you're saying you hate veterans. That's no, what you're fi- saying. They're fine. They did their work. That's good. Good for them. You just don't like the dead ones. Well, I'm not really contributing <laughs> to society anymore. But listen, May... There is no... May doesn't bring anything to the table. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're thinking about May, May's just like here you go. May's, hey May, guys, May's the person at the when you're picking up the check at the end of the night that kind of is reaching for his wallet, saying, "Oh darn it, <laughs> darn <laughs> it!" Hey guys, I left my. You know, this I is uh, so weird. <laughs> or that tries to reach for it, but in a way that they get to, they know they're yeah. actually not going to get to <laughs> the check. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> wait for you to touch it. Then oh oh, you already that's, got it. That's basically dinner with like me and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh, gee. And I am May in that spot. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't even... Listen. May is so boring. I don't even know what May day is. 
what are you celebrating on May Day? And that's a day that's named after the month that I I, I, I yeah. assume that May Day is in May. It might not be in May, which is even worse. <laughs> no, it's if in May, May. If May is in, if May Day is in April, yeah. then well, like, you know, like maybe it's like Easter, where it just kind of pops up. Oktoberfest is mostly in September, so I think that's <laughs> the thing. Well, you know, you've each come out with some pretty strong, compelling arguments centered around holidays. So it makes me wonder um, if your arguments are all going to be more compellingly towards the holidays that are inherent to these. Well, mine kind of are. To be honest, mine kind of are. God, don't we, tip we, we our hand or anything. Jeez. You know, with February, you know, Super Bowl is not a holiday. February spawned a monster. Also, <laughs> keep that in mind. November spawned a monster, idiot. Well, hey, what a coincidence! Because <laughs> November is on my list of uh, is, are months. You gonna, are you gonna bring November? Oh, I got, I got bringing the heat with November. Um, and this one's purely because Thanksgiving is one hundred percent my favorite holiday. Um, I believe at the beginning of this podcast. Uh, Richard might have argued that our personal uh, beliefs... No, just birthdays. Our... No, just birthdays. Oh, just birthdays. Okay. Just oh. birthdays. Not... Okay. Right. No, That's but fine. November... I mean, November's a great month. You got... You know, you got a... Uh... I was born then. Were you? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll... Didn't uh... make my list. Maybe maybe I'll revise my list then. <laughs> no, I think November is like one of those, like, you're right in... You're square in the middle of, like, the holiday season. Yeah, Christmas is... You're really actually able to start celebrating it and not like at Walmart when they celebrate it in August. Like actually celebrate it a little bit. You got Thanksgiving, which is awesome. You're really into fall at that point. I love fall. Yeah, it's, it's a good month. If it were, I think November is like Friday at noon at work, where you're yeah. mostly you got that weekend right there, but it hasn't started. See, that's yet. that's my problem with November is it's such a tease. That two day weekend for Thanksgiving, like you're all looking forward to it. And like a couple of days, you know, leading off, people are like slowly trickling out of work because they have to go back east for you know to visit family. And they're like, oh, you know, or they come back a little. Yeah. But like, I I really like Thanksgiving too. I think it's it's you know the strikes. In November it's, it might has, be on the Mount Rushmore of holidays. <laughs> from an entertainment standpoint, the big blockbuster movies haven't come out yet. Mm. Most of the fall uh, shows have been canceled mm-hmm. already. That's um, true point. Well, you do have the Thanksgiving. You have like the Thanksgiving parades. Yes, yeah, but I think there's also sh- who doesn't no, like a big balloon, guys. There's no all the Thanksgiving. There's no like Thanksgiving music on coast. To coast <laughs> <or anything>. <laughs> <laughs> just pilgrim, just pilgrim music for an hour. There's no Thanksgiving. I mean, maybe at Hobby Lobby or like the one Michaels. There's some Thanksgiving decorations or something like that. But I feel like from an entertainment standpoint, Thanksgiving doesn't really put out that much. Mm. I think it's a cock tease, yeah, for okay. a real All right. holiday. All right, well, what's yeah, your, but that's my, you know, no, my your, personal and correct November, opinion. No, well, what's what's your big. next one then? Uh, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go big. All right, this isn't this this is like the this is like the penultimate episode where like everything happens. Yeah, and then um, and, and then it's you know maybe the next one's a bit of a come down. Right, right. But October is uh-huh. an incredible month. I've got October as well as my fourth. Listen, October does a lot of things right. It's got uh, all the sports. Right. If you're in sports, and I know we talked about the Super Bowl earlier, uh, sports MLB ball. playoffs. Sports ball. Sports ball. Sports ball's going. Slam ball. Yes. Yeah, Rolf ball. ball. Rolf ball. Ball sports. Right. Uh, <laughs> Running. Drinking a lot of high balls are happening. Yeah. Uh, no, you got Major League Baseball, football. Playoffs, right? The yeah, playoffs, playoffs of those. Which is the only thing you need to care about. Football is full swing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the NBA is just starting. The yes. NHL is just starting. Yeah, college football is whatever is it's happening. Doing. Whatever it's. I doing. mean, that's that is if you want to ruin a marriage, <laughs> October yeah. is the month where you can probably watch sports every day and ignore your loved one, um, like pretty consistently. It's a pretty compelling case. I gotta say, mm-hmm. it's uh, Halloween is also that weird. You know, we're talking about holidays. Is also that one holiday where, like, you know, parents and kids and teens, well, less maybe teens. I don't know. Maybe there's, like, a weird age that I don't know. Maybe it's, like, 17 to 18 where, like, the teenagers are just over it and they just mm-hmm. don't go dress up. I don't know. Yeah. Well, also, it's, keep in mind it's Rocktober. I forgot about Rocktober. <laughs> How could you forget about Rocktober? Um... Well, it's I mean, not we, rock we, pa- we passed over September. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but like, uh, but like, Halloween is just one of those weird, great holidays that uh, I don't know. There's like, you know, do you feel like the uh, availability of multiple uh, variants of slutty costume for any 
kind of uh, subject. Ha- I have. think that in itself has made America great again. <laughs> yeah. These, these are manufactured in, in uh, Malaysia and sent here. But, you know, what I think is it's fabulous about that is that it's allowed um, uh, women to explore the slutter side of being a certified public account right. or a pencil right. or whatever these uh, the costumes are. Because yeah. invariable, there's a hot version of like a pumpkin. Or uh, a can opener. I S- saw, slutty I s- open heart patient. Slutty open heart patient. Which, I saw which an I've ad been. the other about. day for a costume that was just a hashtag. It was just like <laughs> it was just like four black strips that you just I guess paste to your body. Was it a sexy hashtag? Uh, <laughs> I wish it was. I like. I wish it was like. Like the italicized. I love of it. the slutty. <laughs> I love the slutty female costumes, and the guy costumes are, are always like. Doctor, hey, I have a dick. Yeah. yeah. If it's a fireman, it's a fireman. I hey, look at my big holes. Yeah. So okay, so we we've sung the Sluts. virtues of October. I'll, I'll, say, I'll, I'll say one last thing about October though, uh, and a lot of this. Listen, guys and girls and whoever's listening to this. Dogs. We live here in Los Angeles, and we've started, we a, noted that before. there's there's a certain perspective that unfortunately colors co- colors everything, and that. Even though this year is abnormally weird, mm-hmm. October is really the first month where it feels like it's not 100 degrees out. Mm-hmm. Here's what I wrote down, actually. Yeah. Not first month, not hot as balls. Yeah. Uh, it, and that is such a welcome reprieve where, like, the leaves are actually turning colors, maybe. Right. Question mm-hmm. mark. Uh, what like, are leaves? You, you start, Michael, what are leaves? You start, like, <laughs> pulling out your sweaters, like, right. unironically. <laughs> <laughs> I am just so pleased by the amount of actual um, nostalgia and whimsy and wistfulness that you're both expressing your desire for these months, especially when we went into like the summer months. I think you were talking about being a young boy, a lad of four, with a, a going down the street on a, a scooter you crafted out of a a, a, a soapbox with a skateboard on the bottom. Right. There's so much Wonder Years uh, monologuing happening here. That's yeah, I think if you fabulous. go back to 1513 of this podcast, I said that exact same, same thing. thing. Yeah. One thing, I would just last thing about October. Mm. I think it's a great month, even though it's got Oktoberfest, mm. which can really go away. Hacky? Yeah, it's, 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 amateur, it's amateur. How does, how does Oktoberfest rank against St. Patrick's Day in terms of just like... Bad drinking, like amateur hour drinking holidays? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's well. The thing is, it's it's a whole month, mm. so you're kind of stretching it out a bit. Mm. See, St. Patrick's Day is the worst. I would put Cinco de Mayo, in terms of manufactured drinking holidays, right up there. I think I think Oktoberfest is behind both of those at least. So Oktoberfest, I think, is culturally European, but St. Patty's Day is bullshit European. It's <laughs> yeah. entirely American. <laughs> yeah, same, the same thing with Cinco de Mayo. They don't yeah. celebrate that in yeah, Mexico. It's, it's like it's the fifth of May. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is celebrated in like three states that border Mexico, yeah, right? Because they uh, can get away with it. Because they can sell a lot. How many of those other, How many other states have like have like holidays that they can just get away with? Like what What is North Dakota's like? Something Minnesota. It's like like some kind of Norwegian or something. I don't know. It's what like they... Lutefish Day, guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Lutefish Day. Yeah. <laughs> Lutefish, thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, Minnesota. They got a winter carnival. A bunch of stuff. I think. Santa Lucia Day. What's that? I know uh, that we got that. We got my hometown is okay. Kingsburg, California, and it's they celebrate it. Name dropping right yeah. now. Lutheran. If uh, anyone else is here from Kingsburg, is listening, yeah. you know. Um, so we've had two and two. You've both uh, cited October. You've both cited uh, February. Yeah, it's on your on your. Yeah, Mount I Washington. have my last. I have my last one. But remember, like you can decide on whichever ones make the most sense to you. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll let me hear them all out first. Yeah, the last one on my list. Maybe cliche, but it's December. Oh. Uh, and also, did that also spawn a monster? Because <laughs> uh, uh, you like the Decemberists, exactly. Oh. Because uh, I look exactly like Colin Malloy, but sexier. No, no. Kind of getting, kind of, I'm kind of getting fat like him now. So, um, d- uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to start. Listen, Christmas December is great. December, December's great. Uh-huh. Yeah, Pearl Harbor Day. Pearl Harbor Day. Everyone <laughs> loves that. <laughs> um, there are so many weird off days and so many parties and so much like, like it's just okay to be like randomly off work or randomly not doing work yeah. towards the end of the month. Or like maybe you work at a business or in an industry where it's just like, you know what? We just shut down from December 13th onward and 
that's just what mm-hmm. we do. Uh, I mean, Jeff, you work in the entertainment industry. Yeah, um, it's vacant. It's just vacant. like it's yeah. just like gone. And yeah. like, I'm gonna bring it back to LA again. Driving around. Well, LA, look at this guy, by the way, Mr. LA over I, here. Listen, I'm Mr. From, Johnny Grant. I'm from the city of angels. North Hollywood? <laughs> North, well, it's north. It's North. <laughs> north Angels. I'm from the city the of North. The North, 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 north Angels. Um, uh, it was, I was actually listening to a podcast today that was, a, that was talking about the origin of the name of Los Angeles. Mm. Uh, so you guys should check that podcast <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Turn this one off. fascinating. Go, go over and find the History of Los Angeles podcast uh, and, and listen to that one right now. But um, So you're avoiding Christmas. No, Chris, I, I love Christmas. It. Okay. It's great. Uh, it's it's a great holiday. Um, and, like, the day or so that you have before New Year's or having those days off, too. But, like, driving around L.A. when, like, half the city empties mm-hmm. when they go back home for the holidays is just amazing. Like, the freeways operate, like, how they are supposed to operate yeah. as, like, these transit lanes to go from, like, one place to another place really yeah. quickly rather than just, like, I'm going to be... In this yeah. hellhole. Oh, I, I did the worst thing. I'm going to quick quick aside. Um, never on your way home from work, especially been working in a place as long as I have, try to count how many times that you've driven that same stretch of road. It is so depressing Ooh, to be like, well, I've worked at my job for 10 years. And then how many days do I drive to work? It's okay. So I take off weekends and I, and I start doing the math. And then it's like, well. Thousands. I've driven up and down this road 25,000 no. times. And then you're just like, 2,500 times. 25,000 times. That would be a lot. Like, that would be a lot. Are you, what are you doing? Are you like a, a bus driver? What I, are you... Uh... But like that's like just driving the same path and just thinking about uh, thinking about how great it is when you can just like open up your, you know, Hyundai Elantra and go like the speed limit. Really get all four cylinders really opened up. Do and you just, uh, feel any stress from December? Because I usually feel like, oh crap, uh, January's right around the corner. Yeah, December's too, it's too much for me. Mm. It's just I got parties every weekend. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. By the way, guys, quit inviting me to so many parties. It's a public service announcement here, guys. Um, but there's just like you got parties. You got to go shopping. Since I'm not from around here and we travel. Mm. That, I'm the, I'm one of the idiots who's stuck in 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 hell trying to get out of the city. Yeah, that sounds um, like a personal problem. Well, you know, um, well, I, I I don't think I'm alone in this one, and I think most people, even if you're not in Los Angeles, probably deal with. I mean, I don't fly at least. That's true. I mean, if you fly, I mean, I think most people who fly and have to travel for Christmas have probably dealt with the getting snowed in or some sort of travel related nightmare. That is revolves around trying to get home for Christmas. Yeah, definitely. I have I have a skewed sense of what of what the rest of the country goes through in December. Yeah, but then whatever. Sorry. <laughs> what, uh, what's your do? You, do we each have how many more? That was it. That was, was my it? four that because four. Okay. four, four, and four. Yeah. All right. So um, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna tally up all the. I'm gonna tally up all the responses and evaluate them based on um, my dislike for each of the individuals who said them. <laughs> um, my to, uh, Jeff, would you like some more pizza? <laughs> yeah. Why, thank you, Richard. I would. Oh, we... Pulling it in the lead, Richard Manfredi. <laughs> uh, and, and we're going to be right back with the results and see who's etched up onto this Mount Rushmore of months. We're back. And just to remind you, we're sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace. It's that thing that they have at cafes that never works. <laughs> I don't think that's right on multiple levels. I think you're wrong about that. Squarespace. But Squarespace, if you want to send us money, bring it on. Squarespace. It's where hipsters, prostitutes, and people run garage sales uh, <laughs> collect money. All right. So uh, we tallied up all the votes, we being me, with the... Uh, um, you use a calculator. Price Water Coast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anderson Cooper, Price Waterhouse. Um, and I have determined that our winner is Michael. Oh. Uh, he's got three spots on Mount Richard. Well, of course, Michael's choices, one of which was also Richard's, Michael's choices were December, July, October, 
The uh, Holy Trinity of uh, months, if you ask me. These are some pretty exceptional months. My birthday is in December, which uh, was a really good choice that I think Michael made with full consciousness of my actual birthday. Sucking up and to then, get a uh, spot. Michael's Wonder Years-esque diatribe about the July and all its merits. It was something out of a Ray Bradbury novel. <laughs> <laughs> A young man skipping down in the prime of his life. He got, yet, Michael got a little weepy about it, too. A little weepy. concerned. Had yet to hit puberty um, and discover the disappointment. I'm still yet to hit puberty. He's still yet to hit puberty. It's a problem. Yeah. We lower his voice with a pitch shifter. <laughs> he sounds like a mature man. Well, I, I will say I, I, I disagree with the assessment, but I, I defer to your opinion. Yeah, you As boof- wrong as it is. You boofed it on May. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, so thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of the Mount Rushmore podcast. Uh, Tune in next week when the topic will be... Fuck you!